Welcome to Miss Cass Entertainment's first Halloween cooking episode. This episode, I'm gonna teach you how to make finger wieners. So, the first thing you wanna do is get yourself a nice, uh, a nice firm wiener. Uh, this one's really good. It's actually like a smoked sausage and it has that cheddar cheese inside. And the reason I chose that is so when you bite into the wiener and you pull out, you're gonna see all this like gooey bone marrow come out. So the trick is you gotta make it look like a real goddamn finger. And uh, the trick to that is you gotta get the nail right and you gotta get them knuckles right. As you can see, it's very similar to my own finger. You see guys? So the first thing you want to do is get a really sharp knife and start edging the lines of the fingernail, okay? So just slowly, just kind of get the edge. Don't go too deep. You're just almost like drawing at this point, okay? And you cut in there and then you get the knife and then you follow along. And then you work your way upwards and you kind of pull out, boom, look at that. We're almost there. I get a little bit, my, my cheese is coming out, but um, don't worry about that. See, so now that we got a delicious nail, the, fr the next thing that we wanna do is, let's make some knuckles, okay? So if you look at your own knuckles, you see like there's like a deep center, and then there's like other like kind of like, uh, like almost like parentheses. So you're gonna cut a little deep and make almost like a little wedge, like that, there you go. And then around it, you're gonna cut out like this, see? Like that, you're gonna cut it like, 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 sort of like a roundish sort of deal right there. Like a roundish sort of dealy right there. Oh, look at that. If you screw up, don't worry. The meat is very forgiving. The meat forgives you. And to be honest, this is probably like 20% meat or, or like lips and assholes. God knows what the hell is in this thing, but we're still gonna eat it. Because at this point, um, we've had several beers and uh, we're, we're, we're gonna eat anything. So. Let's, uh, let's just work it out like that. And as you can see, I'm kind of close right there. So what you do is with your sharp knife, you're gonna create like almost kind of like, like normal, like little lines, you know, like, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gentleman like in my, my early 40s. So I have like maybe a few more like finger wrinkles than you do, but you, you create as many fingers as you want to, finger wrinkles as you want to, you know, this is, there's no like, there's no rules to this, you know, this is like, is your own special thing. You get a finger that you're happy with, you know? So this is, this is a nice finger. You know, this is like, a, if you were to see this finger on the street, you'd say, oh, that looks like a pretty like cool finger. Now I think we're ready to cook it. So now we got, we got some water boiling. I mean, these things, uh, they're like already pre-cooked. So you don't have to like, uh, if you don't want to cook them, you like, you like your fingers cold, you can just like, just like, pop it in your mouth right there and it'll be fine. But uh, I, you know, like you can just like open up, like bam, right there. But I like my wieners to be like room temperature or like body temperature or whatever. All right, so the next thing I want to do with uh, my finger before I put in the boiling water is I just cut the little butt off. It kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic and you get more like uh, the cheese goo in the back. Okay, so just like anything else, we're gonna dip our fingers right into the boiling water. God damn, that shit's hot. It is boiling. <laughs> so we're just gonna let them boil up for a little bit. Um, like I said, we're just warming them up, kind of uh, getting, getting a little bit more color on them. You don't wanna overdo it. Maybe, um, I would say six minutes in boiling water. Well, that's going, let's go warm up some buns. Not these buns these buns. So I grabbed these uh, Petri pep pep Petridge, no, Pepperidge Farm uh, buns. Uh, Pepperidge Farm remembers, okay? So don't forget about that. So what's really important here is that these buns, what makes them really cool is that um, they are uh, top sliced. If you've never had top sliced buns, instead of like slicing them, like, on the side, how your traditional bun is sliced. Um, these buns are actually sliced at the very top, not instead of like on the side. Kind of like if you, if you can, just kind of spread your buns a little bit. You, spread those cheeks. Use, use all your fingers and just kind of like spread your buns a little bit. It looks a lot nicer. And just kind of get this like that. And look, look how beautiful that is. You see that? That's a beautiful hot wiener. So what you do is you carefully place that in the bun. There you go, like that, see? Look how pretty that is. 
It's like a nice, a nice like severed wiener finger. And we're gonna get this guy here, pinch him a little bit, place him there. Look at that, guys. Fuck, that's beautiful. Look at that, look at that. And you see that right there? And it's like, there's a little bit of like boiling water. It looks like almost like a pus, that like, like a blister that, that, that popped and became infected. And, uh, and that's good. This is more like just like a regular guy that died. Um, maybe he got scratched up by a cat a little bit, but it looks pretty good. So what you want to do with ketchup is you shake it a little bit. That's a, that's a pro tip for you guys. Before you like you squeeze any ketchup, if you don't shake it, the first, uh, the first squirt out is a little like uh, a little clear. But if you shake it a lot, it'll get a lot more dense. And what you want to do is you want to make it look like kind of like, uh, like if the finger's injured, you know? So of course here, here on the butt, you, know, you want to put a lot of blood and then just kind of like, don't go crazy because you don't want to cover all like the hard work that you did, but you want to just make it look like kind of, kind of like gory, like, oh fuck, you know, like, like I, this guy just fucking just, he just lost his fucking finger and somebody stuck it in a goddamn bun, you know? So just kind of like put a little bit, put it like, like put a little bit on the butt there and just kind of like, like, like you're murdering somebody. Just, somebody just got fucking murdered. And that's what the fucking, that's what the goddamn thing looks like. Like that, see, so that's like a good example. So when the kids come back from, uh, from trick-or-treating, you know, uh, they're hungry, uh, their, their little bellies are like filled with candy and stuff, and they're like, hey, daddy, you know, like, what are you gonna give me to eat? You're like, here, motherfucker, have, have some of these uh, severed, fingered uh, wiener uh, things, and, and just like stick them in your mouth and, and go to sleep so me and your mom can watch some horror movies and do the nasty. And um, enjoy and uh, bon appetite. Mmm. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's, a, that's a pretty fucking good wiener finger. Yeah, I say. Mmm. Oh, fuck. Delicious. You see the reason? You can feel the... You can feel the knuckles. And I kind of absorb all the... Oh, this is so. stuff. Okay, bottom. Mmm. That cheese is really, really coming through. Ah. Uh, mmm. So, make sure you follow us. Like the link below. Hit the bell, subscribe. Let us know what you think. And if there's anything else you want us to cook, let us know. And uh, happy Halloween. Welcome to the next episode of Miscast Entertainment. Spooky Cooking Spectacular! This episode, we're gonna do a cocktail. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I am going to do the classic uh, zombie cocktail, but it's gonna be, instead of a cocktail, I'm gonna do more of a shot. And inside the shot, I'm gonna put a very fucking gory ass eyeball that you're gonna have to eat as you're taking the shot. All right, so here we go. First thing you want to do is create your eyeballs. So uh, you get some lychees here, and then you, you pull them out with your fingers, and then make sure you get that juice out because it gets, gets pretty juicy. So then what I did was I got some jam, some raspberry jam. It looks kind of like blood. It's like all like bloody and gory and shit. And then what you do is you kind of put it in a sack. This is a pro tip right here, guys. You get yourself and put it in the sack, get, get a knife, and then you cut the tip, right? So here's, here's, here's a second pro tip. Don't cut the tip where like the gooey shit is. Cut the other tip so that it doesn't all come out. Boom, there you go. Just like a little hole like that. And then what you do is you get your eyeball. Oh man, it's really slimy. It's kind of hard to do. I'm not, I don't, I, this is the first time I ever do this, guys. So I don't know how the fuck this is gonna come out. This is gonna be a disaster to be honest with you. Okay, so you get, um, you get your jam and you jam it right in that eyeball right there, you see? See so right there, you just get that jam and just stick it in there. And then what you do is, you put that down and you get yourself another one. Because you're going to need two, we're making two shots. William and I are both taking a shot. Yes, indeed. You, you're going to take one with me, buddy? Goddamn right. All right, man. That, he's a, William's a straight up trooper, man. Yeah, you guys don't know this guy. You guys see him like only on TV. But trust me, if you were to see him like behind the scenes like I see him, you guys would be like, oh my God, what the hell is going on? This guy's so fucking cool. Okay, so now after we jam this thing in there, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like gory, you know? 
But um, to make it a little bit more realistic, we're gonna get some blueberries. Blueberries are gonna be like the eyeballs, you know? So uh, blue eyes are normally like a, a Caucasian thing, but you can, you know, you can use other eyeballs for like, you know, different cultures and stuff. Um, I just got blueberries because they're kind of nice. And uh, I'm gonna dip them inside the, the lychee juice so they're a little bit shinier, look like real eyeballs. And then like once you get them, you just like stick them right inside of here like this. Bam, you know, and then it looks like, it looks really like gory and really kind of nasty. You know, it looks like a gory fucking like nasty eyeball. So we're just gonna drop that right into the shot glass like that because we don't give a shit. And then we're gonna get another one, drop it in the lychee juice to get it like kind of gory and shiny. And just, just pop it in like this. Boom. You know, and that, that looks pretty vile. That's something I would never ever want to put in my mouth. That's just like disgusting. But again, we're gonna drink it today. So there it is. And then next thing we want to do is we're going to make our cocktail. And to do that, we're going to get like a glass of ice where we're going to mix all our cocktails into. All our liquor into rather. So we're going to use one ounce of light rum. Boom. We're going to use one ounce of dark rum. Look at that. Oh my God, it's dark, just like I said. And then we're gonna use one shot of Bacardi 151. Now this thing is extremely flammable. Uh, it's made in Puerto Rico, so don't, don't fuck with the stuff if you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna put this in there. And boom. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use a little bit of uh, lime juice. Uh, just like maybe a uh, quarter of an ounce or so, a couple sprays, boom. And then we're going to use a little bit of grenadine, just a little bit, just to kind of give it that sort of like bloodish color. And this, you can just kind of like just spray it in there, just kind of a little carefully, just a little, little couple shakes, boom, that's it. That's all you need. And then uh, some bitters to kind of like bind it all together. Bitters, uh, especially Angostura bitters, does a really good job at binding like unlike things together. So we're just gonna do maybe a couple like splashes there, like that. And then, uh, whenever you're making a zombie, uh, which is like one of these like old timey like tiki drinks, you wanna use a falernum. Uh, here's a little bit inf of information about falernum because I don't know it off the top of my head, but um, it's really cool. It's, it's in a lot of popular tiki drinks. And this we're just gonna use like maybe like half an ounce. There you go. All right, so. Uh, we need to shake it. Okay, so we're gonna shake it here like this. Boom, let's clean it off. Always clean off your wands after you use it because you don't know who else is gonna use it after you. And then uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're ready to go. So we're gonna stick this in here and we're gonna pour out our drinks. Mmm, yummy. Oh my God, look how gory and disgusting that is. Who the fuck is gonna drink this? I don't know, we'll find out. So anyways, here's your drink. Two zombie shots with an eyeball inside. Uh, William, you ready to, uh, take, a, to take, uh, take one of these uh, into your pie hole? You got damn right. Let's do it, here, <laughs> come join me. Here, come, come here and let America see you. Hey, happy Halloween, guy. Happy Halloween. Let's do it. Motherfucker. Cheers, guys. Cheers. And you gotta swallow the whole thing. Alright. Oh my god. It's like fire. It's so delicious. It's really good. It's so wonderful. I love it. Wow. It's so amazing. You guys are gonna love this. Are they? I don't know. But, um. I can feel it. The majesty. I have new hairs, I think. I have hairs that went gray. Yeah. I have new hairs that came out. Actually, um, the best part about that, I think, was the uh, eyeballs. Yeah, right? Yeah, because some of the ingredients that you put in there, especially that 151, usually will kick your ass. Yes. And make you want to friggin' run away screaming. But, you know, after the initial pain, the eyeball kind of brought me back it, home. Yeah, kind of soothed it all. It, it, it 
like douse the fire. It doused the fire. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Boom. <laughs> we did it. We did. Back on camera duty. Yeah. <laughs> So anyways, guys, uh, that's our zombie shot with an eyeball inside. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know if you want to see more cooking videos, more cocktail videos. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe, ring the bell. Thank you very much and good evening. Peace. this are they I don't know but um I can feel it <laughs> the majesty I have new hairs I think